opinion depth and contact patch explained. Pinion depth is the distance from the center line of the differential ring gear to the head of the pinion. If pinion depth is increased, the pinion will move away from the center line. As the pinion moves to the left in this image, you'll notice not only does the distance increase, but the distance between the ring gear and the pinion also increases. This will affect the backlash. If we were to move the pinion closer to the center line, decreasing pinion depth, because of the design of the pinion, the backlash will decrease. Backlash is defined by the clearance between the ring gear teeth and the pinion gear teeth. On a straddle mount design, the pinion depth is still from the center of the ring gear and it goes to the head of the pinion, but this time it's to the head of the support bearing. The shims to adjust the pinion are between the pinion housing and the differential carrier housing. Notice the pinion and the pinion housing move together. We still have the effect of backlash when we move the pinion farther from the center line of the ring gear. And when we move the pinion closer to the center line of the ring gear, this decreases the pinion depth and the backlash between the ring gear and the pinion. If pinion depth is correct, the pinion will contact the ring gear somewhere near the middle of the tooth. If the depth is too much, the ring gear tooth drive side contact will be too much on the heel of the tooth. If the depth is too little, the ring gear tooth drive side contact will be too much on the toe of the tooth. This modified straddle mount differential allows me to adjust the pinion depth to an exact value. The dial indicator will indicate how much the pinion depth has been adjusted. I will then readjust the backlash each time and take a contact patch to see the differences from each pinion depth adjustment. The pinion depth has been moved closest to the center line and the dial indicator has been zeroed to indicate the position of the pinion depth. Here we can view that the backlash has been set to ten thousandths of an inch. The dial indicator will move to a negative ten thousandths of an inch as I adjust the pinion away from the center line. We can now see that this adjustment has caused the backlash to increase to 16 thousandths of an inch. I now need to readjust the backlash. I need to move the ring gear closer to the pinion. This is accomplished by loosening the non-ring gear side adjuster and then tightening the ring gear side adjuster the exact same amount. Here we can see that the backlash is now back to 10 thousandths of an inch. We will now move the dial indicator out of the way so that we can use the gear marking compound to apply some marking compound on two of the teeth. We will coat both the coast side and the drive side. We're just going to coat two teeth so that we can see where the pattern hits. Once the teeth are coated, we'll check both sides so that they're nice and smooth. Now, rotate the pinion so that the gear runs through the pinion gear and the ring gear to wipe the paste off. Run it through a couple of times, and then take a look at the pattern. Here we can see on the drive side that we're down deep near the flank and near the toe. That's not acceptable. And on the coast side, we're also down near the flank, but this time we're near the heel. Once again, we will adjust the pinion depth and move it farther away from center line. We've now moved it to 20 thousandths of an inch. Our backlash has also increased to about 14 thousandths of an inch. We'll have to readjust the backlash to put it back to 10 thousandths of an inch before we can do another pattern.
Here we've got it back to ten thousandths of an inch and we're ready to put more paste back on the teeth. We will paste over the previous contact patch. Make sure it looks good before we run it through the gears and then rotate the pinion again to wipe the paste off of the ring gear. Here we can see that the pattern is still down on the flank on the drive side, but it's moved up towards the middle of the gear tooth a little bit further. It's still a little bit on the toe, but it has moved a little bit more centered. On the coast side, we see that the pattern moved up towards the center from the flank a little bit, and we also see that it moved towards the center from the heel a little bit. One more time we will change the pinion depth by another ten thousandths of an inch, moving it farther from the center line. Now we are at a minus thirty thousandths of an inch. Checking our backlash reveals that it is also increased. We have about another fifteen thousandths of an inch, so we will make our adjustments to adjust it back to the ten thousandths of an inch specification. Here we can see the backlash is back to where we started. Now we will put some more paste onto the teeth to cover up the old contact patch. And once again we will run the gears together to create a new contact patch. We now see the drive side pattern is perfectly centered. The coast side pattern is also much better. Although not perfectly centered, it's not running off the heel, toe, face, or flank. This pattern is perfectly acceptable.